Hi folks, we're just going to do a wee demonstration here on your new van here and give you a rundown how everything works in the van. So we'll just start off inside here. And the first thing we're going to look at here is your control panel. This is just inside the half door. So uh, you can see here you have your main 12 volt on and off. That's to switch the van on and off inside. That's it off, that's it on. And this side here we have our indicators for our engine battery and our leisure battery. So we'll see here we'll press the engine one. And you can see there it's going up just about over 12. And our leisure as well. It's going up. That's just working on the green gauge at the top. Now we're not plugged in at the moment. Now if we're plugged in that'll go up to about 13 and a half. On, on both of them that show you as it's charging. So that's a good indicator that you're actually charging. When you're plugged in you'll get this yellow light coming on. Which shows you that your, your mains are coming into the van okay. So just keep an eye on that on the campsite that it's not trapped out outside or anything. And over this side here we have our fresh water. You can see the wee gauge going up. That's at full. We're working on the blue gauge at the bottom here. And that's our fresh. Or our wastewater, sorry. And that's completely empty. So that's our fresh at the top and our waste at the bottom. And that's the wee pump switch here. You switch that on and off. If you want some pressure in your taps. And the last wee thing you have is an alarm here for the leisure battery going low. Now that'll only come on when you get into the red here if you're maybe a wild camping or something or the, the batteries you left something on inside the van and the battery's gone completely flat you'll get the red light coming on here and you'll have to plug the van in so that's your control panel so the next thing we're looking at here is your fridge and we're working here in this control knob here at the moment here it's off this is zero and the first setting we have is gas you just flick it onto gas and it'll ignite itself there's no pushing buttons or anything just flick it onto the gas and it'll come on now, if, a, a solid, if, if the lights stay solid, it's lit okay, and if it starts to flash, um, your gas needs to be switched on. The next one down then is your 220 volt mains, and the last one then is your battery that runs off the engine when the engine, it only works when the engine's actually running. So that's to keep your fridge cold when you're travelling. So that only works when the engine's actually running. And then over this side here you have your, just your temperature control, and then you have your your fridge catch here opens that way and if you can see here now it's got two wee recesses on it the first one here you can you can actually use that to vent the door you can use that to to close the door and leave a it'll leave a gap all around the door to let air down when you're not using the fridge and that's the use the normal one at the back for locking so you can actually um, use this front one here to vent the door and always have that, that back that way before you close the door. So you don't want to damage this bit. So always have it that way before you close the door. And that's it over and locked. And above that then you just have your your oven and grill. And you can see it ignites that way there. That's your oven that way and your grill that way. And you can see the igniters flashing inside. And at zero, at zero when the knob it's off. So your, your grill is that way and your oven is that way. And then off in the middle. And then around here to your hob, just normal gas valves. You're going to need an igniter or a lighter or something to light this, but you just push these in and out. And you can see there's a wee thermocouple safety on each of the rings. So if someone comes along and turns all these knobs around, no gas comes out until that's actually lit. So that's the safety on it. So inside your wardrobe here, you just have your, that's the aerial. And it, uh, it unlocks up here at the top. You can loosen that there wee locker there and push that up and down. And the bottom of your locker, or your wardrobe, you have your 220 volt main trap. And that's the way it should be. It should be up the way. And if it traps, it goes down. And to reset, just push it back up again. And you also have an extension here for your table. So we're just in your bathroom here now. And just give you a quick run on this toilet here. The toilet is fairly straightforward. You have your your flush here. Just give it a push there, and that flushes, and that opens and closes your shutter. And always have that closed. And then you'll get an indicator here when the cassette's full. You get a light coming on here to tell you that you need to change your cassette. So the next thing we're looking at here is your fresh water tank. Now as you see at the moment I have the top of it, and it's full to the top. Inside there, if you can see there, there's a wee stopper. You can pull that out there if you ever want to drain the water out of the, the fresh water tank. And everything else is just pipes and stuff. Um, you have an overflow pipe here coming out. If you forget to pull out your hose, that'll overflow outside. And this is the wire here going to your pump, if you ever have to change the pump. And 
and that's for that with your fresh water tank. So outside here now, what you have, if you're wondering what this is, that's just the exhaust off your heater. You come along here now, now this fan has got airbags on it, and there's just little valves here at the side. You can put air into each of these here, and put the same pressure on each side. Now the maximum pressure is probably about 60 PSI, but you can run it at about 40 PSI or so, and that'll blow up the bags, or you can let it down completely. But always try to keep at least 10 pounds of pressure in the bags, don't let them go completely flat. It's just a rule of thumb to keep the rubber from uh, getting damaged and you can raise the van up and down with that or <coughs> that'll uh, it'll stuffing up your suspension a bit as well for you. So we're going on here onto the boot here, the boot area and what I want to show you here is we're looking in that wee hole there we can see our red valve and what that is there is your frost valve for your heater. Now at the moment the position it's in is up and that's the way it should be and that's the, that's the closed position. Now at 2 degrees that'll drop down itself and what that does there drains all the water out of your hot water heater onto the onto the ground outside. I'll just uh, you can see see the water coming out there. So that's your valve in there pushed down. And to correct it then just pull it back up again. It's just a bit hard to see there, but you can see you can see it in, you can see it inside there. Now if you want to winterize your van yourself, what you would do is just push that down. And that opens your, your water system and then open all your taps in between hot and cold with the pump off and that'll drain all the water out of your taps. Now if it's very, very cold winter, like the minus five, minus six sort of stuff, we'd recommend opening your taps between hot and cold and actually blowing into the taps just to push the extra bit of water out through that. So when you come back after the winter time, what you would do is you come back here and pull up your valve. Just make sure your valve's up the way. And open your tap on hot and that'll fill up the it'll blow the air out, out of the water heater out through your tap and it'll give you your, your pressure will come back again now at any stage that won't stay up because it's too cold you'll have to switch on the heating and that sends a wee voltage down onto that valve and keeps it up so if you ever get, get to that situation where it's too cold don't be putting pegs or cable ties onto that just go in and switch on your heating and it'll stay up first time so we're just around here at your gas tanks you can see you have your two 11 kilogram tanks in here. Um, it's fairly straightforward. If you want to loosen off, you can't see here now with the two tanks, but the hoses actually screw on their left hand thread, so they screw on anti clockwise and they loosen clockwise. And we have a spanner here left for you as well. So that's how the hose goes on. That's a left hand thread on these when you're changing the pipe. So to loosen, you have to go clockwise, and to tighten up, you have to go anti clockwise. And on right the van here now we have our that's our waste valve, you just open and close that handle and that's for your grey water out of your sinks and your your uh, showers and stuff. So along the side of the van here we have our diesel fill, which is just up behind that little flap here. And we have our water fill. Now make sure that when you go to a filling station and that you don't give somebody the keys and they put the diesel in there, because they can't see that when it's closed. Just a wee tap. And what we're looking at here now is underneath the passenger seat. You can see that's your main 12 volt control box. And that's just all your fuses there for your, your pumps and lights and stuff inside. So there's nothing really that you have to do with that, but if you blow a fuse you just have to go along there and check them. So here in your engine compartment here we'll just show you a few bits. You have your window wash. This bottle here is for your engine coolant. If you ever have to jump start the van you'll see there's a little positive terminal here with a red cap on it and that's where you put your your positive of your jump lead and you put your negative say onto the frame of the engine and that'll start your van you have your dub stick here at the front your oil filler cap and then the rest is just brake fluid and power steering fluid and stuff like that but the main thing you're going to probably have to just put water in here and have a quick look at your oil levels the whole time and that's really about it now to open that you can see this little this little rubber square here, you put the ignition key in there and you turn it clockwise and it'll clip, it'll clip open and then push anti-clockwise and the, you, can open, you can open the bottle. So inside here in the dash is very car like but I'll just show you a few bits that you might need to... You can see there's a light here that tells you when the step's out, you'll bring the step back in again. Your air con is at this little light here, just push that on and off there. That'll get you your air con, push that on, you get the green light on here. 
and across here then you just have your reverse camera and you have cruise control and stuff on the steering wheel and, and volume controls and stuff for your your stereo but the rest is fairly you've put a storage on each side here um, your blinds you just clip them on each side pull that across and they they meet in the middle they're magnetized you just bring that back over and clip your clubs back in again before you drive off um, the side blinds they just pull, pull across like that, same thing, they're magnetised there and just bring them back in again and clip them back in. So all that there stuff's fairly straightforward. So we're nearly finished here now but I'll just show you a couple of wee bits maybe that you haven't, might be handy to know. You can see here when you open this back skylight, there's uh, there's wee locks here and the leg of the, the actual leg of the skylight will go in there. and. Uh, Sorry, I'm back to you again here. And you can actually lock that, so that'll stop it from flying open in the wind if you want to leave it open. And uh, there's a bit of an apron on it, so unless it's really heavy rain, you can nearly open that in a light rain, and the water won't actually come into the van, but it'll actually let a bit of air in. But that's how you actually lock it there. There's a wee lock there, lifts up and down. So that's the locking position, and then you have another vent position at the back. And then just your clothes then, you push it back up, and let the wee button shoot out. So what I was saying about draining the van for winter time, the red valve at the back that I was showing you, if you push that down and it was onto you about opening the tap on between hot and cold, that's the cold position there and that's the hot position. So about halfway around, open it up like that and make sure the pump's off. And you can hear the gurgle in there, that's all the air going out of the tap and going back out through that valve at the back. So when you come back in to fill the van up again, pull up the red valve and open your tap on the hot position, which is right around there. And open it up in the hot position and it'll blow all the air out of this tap and eventually get a free flow and you'll know then that your your water system is back on pressure again so i hope that wee video was a wee bit of a help to you and uh you can ring us anytime if there's any other wee problems or things you're not sure of thank you